Now let's discuss how clustered feature importance is used to tackle the problem of uh, substitution effects. So a better approach is to cluster together similar features and apply the feature importance analysis like MDA or MDI at the cluster level. So the, so the first thing we need to understand how to define the similarity measure across all features. Second, we can find the number of constituents of the clusters of features and apply the feature importance analysis on the groups of similar features rather than on individual features. So this approach is applicable to both MDI and MDA feature importance algorithms. So actually how we can find feature clusters? Uh, one of the ways is to uh, apply agglomerative clustering algorithm on top of the correlation matrix of our features to find the feature clusters. So here you can see the uh, agglomerative clustering features, uh, agglomerative clustering um, algorithm, this is the unsupervised uh, machine learning algorithm applied to correlation matrices of stocks. But what we can do when we build clusters of features, we find the correlation matrix and apply uh, agglomerative clustering on top of the correlation matrix of our features. So that's actually uh, what CFI feature importance uh, uh, does. So we first need to, uh, to put the clusters uh, of features we have found into the MDA. And after that, the cluster feature importance algorithm starts to, permute, to, to, to permutate randomly, not each feature separately, but rather all features inside of the cluster and measure how your cross-validation score increased or decreased. And, and in this case, it measures the cluster uh, importance rather than your individual feature importance. You can also use um, k-means clustering algorithm. And in order to define the number or optimal number of clusters for k-means clustering algorithm, you can use optimum number optimal number of clusters um, uh, algorithm, which was introduced by Marcus Lopez de Prado. And we'll also show how to use ML FinLab functions to generate both agglomerative clustering, uh, um, agglomerative clustering clusters of features and how to use um, k-means clustering and optimal number of clusters. So here in our numerical example, what we did we have actually grouped our features based on, the, on their correlation. And as you can see here, we can actually find several clusters of features which are um, present in our data set. So here, as you can see, C5 is the final cluster of um, non-informative features, which has zero, zero feature importance. So here, what you can also see is that we have I3, R20, R2, R4, and R29. So uh, if you remember, we have um, four, we have five uh, informative features, and for each of them, we generate so-called four redundant features. So here, actually, it has grouped our informative features, uh, informative feature I3 with four uh, with uh, four redundant features, which are actually made by adding Gaussian noise to this informative feature into a cluster. And as you can see now, we have one, two, three, four, five informative clusters. And these are our informative features, which are grouped with redundant features, which are made out of that informative features and one non-informative cluster. So in this case, cluster feature importance helps, uh, helps us to solve the problem of substitution effects and apply cluster level feature importance on top of that. Now let's take a look at ML FinLab functions, which are used to generate uh, MDI, MDI, MDA, cluster feature importance, and also cluster groups. So the first um, feature importance um, uh, algorithm, as we have discussed, is mean decrease accuracy. So we have implemented mean decrease accuracy and clustered feature importance in one function. If you use this one, if you want to use the standard um, uh, mean decrease accuracy approach, here the default value, as you can see, is cluster subsets, which equals to none, meaning that the algorithm will, will take 
each individual feature separately and measure the importance of that feature, which corresponds to a MDA algorithm. So here we have our model, our regressor or classifier, our X, Y, our cross-validation object, which can be, for example, purge cross-validation to measure the out-of-sample score of our uh, in our data set. We can see the sample weights which are used in, to train our model and to score the um, out-of-sample performance of your model. You can uh, also um, add your scoring function as input to your uh, MDA. So I've, as we have discussed, MDA text as inputs any scoring function uh, you would like to use. Require proper parameter equals to true if, for example, you would like to um, use uh, functions, scoring functions, which takes probabilities predicted out of your classifier as input. So for example, log loss function takes not predictions of your model, but rather the probabilities of positive and negative class as inputs. And that's why uh, you need to specify that your scoring functions takes probabilities as inputs. So if you use, for example, accuracy score, you should pass required proba equals false in this case. And n repeat in the number of uh, repeats over various random seeds to measure the uh, mean decrease accuracy feature importance. So mean decrease accuracy once more implements both MDA and cluster feature importance approach. If you would like to use cluster uh, approach that just pass uh, the array of your um, uh, the array of arrays, meaning that uh, the array inside of the, uh, we, the array corresponds to a cluster, right? So let's go deeper to mean decreased accuracy, impurity. It takes your trained model only, your feature names to create the beautiful pandas data frame and also clustered subsets. So as we have discussed, you can also group your clusters uh, to measure the clustered MDI feature importance. The next goes to single feature importance. It also takes your classifier, X, Y, your CVGAN, your sample weight, your sample weight score, your scoring and required proba. So now let's take a look at your features cluster. So what you can do is to find the optimal number of clusters by using ONC algorithm, which is described in ML Labs documentation. So ONC clusters uses correlation matrix as input, the number of repeats, and it generates your optimal clusters, uh, optimal number of clusters. After that, you can apply k-means with, with this optimal number of clusters onto the correlation matrix and get this clustered uh, subset. We can also use, uh, we can also generate feature clusters by uh, uh, using get features clustered function, which generates features clustered uh, clusters based on agglomerative clustering uh, algorithm. So it takes your pandas data frame of features as input. It can use various dependence matrix, including linear for patient correlation, information variation, mutual information, or distant correlation as a way to measure the um, similarity between features. You can also use the distant matrix, which can be either angular, squared angular, or absolute angular. After that, you can also use the linkage method. So this is the parameter of your agglomerative clustering algorithm, which can be either single linkage, word linkage, complete, average, or weighted, and the number of clusters. So here you can either use ONC algorithm to find the number of clusters, or you can specify your uh, your own number of clusters, which you think can be uh, a good proxy to estimate the number of cl uh, clustered subsets in your CFI. So here we can uh, see how this function is applied. You specify your dependence, your distance matrix, your linkage method, number of clusters, and after that you get the feature cluster subsets, which can be directly used as input to mean decrease uh, to your clustered. Uh, either MDA or CFI feature importance.